Hello and good morning. Coffee sat there, squash and meds. I'm the room. In case you need your reminder, there it was. Um, I forgot to say yesterday, but in the morning I also had. Sorry, on the Monday morning, I also had um, a Zoom doctor thing talking about mental health and stuff, and. Um, and yeah, there you go. And and she asked me about how good I am at taking my tablets and stuff. And I'm and I'm like, it's a non-negotiable, isn't it? It's a non-negotiable. So there you go, people. No questions. Just do it. Drink coffee too. I put a bit of fudge flavouring in this, but I can't taste it at all. I think I should just stick with the vanilla. That one's nice. Anyways, yes, today we're going to go out somewhere. Um, as you can see by the title, yes. Um, and so I'm thinking of going to my steak. I'm going to my steak because the title says so. Unless something bizarre happens along the way. Um, and then I'm thinking maybe I'll go to the cinema afterwards. Which obviously I can't film for you because copyright and things. But yeah, I'm going to see what's um, what's on at the cinema when I turn up there. And if I turn up early, have a little walk around MacArthur Glen. Not like there's anything there that I particularly want. Although I do need some new foundation stuff. And there is a makeup shop there. But then I like the Charlotte Tilbury. We'll see anyway. Um, first things first though, I'm going to drink my coffee and then I'm going to gather together all of the stuff that's going out this morning. So I will show you that in a bit. I hope you're okay with that. <laughs> okay, well let's, uh, let's go through what's going out today then, shall we? Shall we? Yes, we're gonna. So this um, vintage necklace has got all like little runes and things on it. Weird. Anyway, that went for £15.99. This little sparkly costume ring, gold plated, little cluster ring, £5.59. This leaf bib necklace is all like dangles down the front like that. That went for a fiver. A four kilogram job lot of broken costume jewellery, £19.99. This job lot of like holiday kind of costume jewellery, that went for £29. These two are going together, so this little daisy bolo, bolo is one of the ones that you can adjust, and then this little glass cameo one, they went for um, £19.18, and pence. Um, this heart necklace on a cord with matching earring set, £7.99, a sterling silver sparkly CZ little twist necklace, £8.50, and um, this star etched copper bangle, £8.99, and then there's Greek Roman, Greek or Roman, and they're both a pendant necklace went for eight pounds. So um, not too much to package up today, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to go back to watching some Bailey Sarian um, while I package up. Right, post is all done. So um, I don't know um, if and where I'm going to have lunch today. So I figure I'll take um, a roll with me. So I'm going to do one of these seriously low carb rolls. They are 130 calories each. Um, and oh, there you go, two grams of net carbs each. And I'm going to have my last slice of pastrami. And I'm basically going to do what I did in my tacos last night. So I'm going to add some tomato, some cheese, some mustard, some um, pickled red cabbage, and some gherkins, and make myself a sort of Reuben sandwich. Yum, yum. So Reuben sandwich all made and packed up, yum yum. I'm also going to take with me these and that's going to be my lunch. Right, post is done. It's quite a nice day actually, hence the shades. Um, yeah, let's head off to the station and get to my steak. Here in my steak. So that was the shortest uh, train journey. <laughs> um, we're not actually going to get the train back today, I think. Um, we're going to venture on a bus later. 
because there's apparently a bus that goes from here to where the cinema is but I've never used it so that should be okay we hope step 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 right um it's time to do some shopping hmm. Well, that's a great start. Closed on a Wednesday. Why didn't I remember that? It's because I thought today was Tuesday. Silly me. Never mind. There's still two other shops here that are normally pretty good as well. So, oh well. Never mind. <laughs>
Well, I have bought a load of heavy things and breakables. Typical. So I've come to Weatherspoons now because I am absolutely parched and um, I need a drink. Odeon looks. So I've got a little bit before my film. I'm watching The Unlikely Pilgrimage of Harold Fry, which apparently is good, but at times a little bit um, dark, shall we say? Anyways, so I stopped at Costa. I'm having myself an Americano with a dash of pour and cream and sugar free hazelnut syrup. And then when I go in the cinema, I'll be having my pack lunch. Yay! Well, I wasn't overly impressed with the film. A bit twee, a bit annoying, and I didn't particularly like the characters. That's my review as an ex-film student. I could go more into it, but anyways. Um, yeah, so let's take a shortcut home, shall we? Whew, and we're home. Time for a haul. You can hear my mum talking to the builder that's um, fixing the fence next door anyways so today's haul I spent 58 pounds all together um, some of which is like for us and stuff but anyways right start with the clothing only one bit of clothing which was a David Nieper decent brand this was a fiver dressing coat dressing gown house coat bit of a flouncy pattern um, kind of 80s looking but it's actually quite modern i think it's probably polyester david nieper it's got pockets it's got pockets a gown yeah a dressing gown a gown but it's david nieper which is a british brand and that's a good thing mm. isn't it that mm. was the shoe um i got a three pound oh that was a fiver three pound fifty each Mum likes a bit of this blue Denby, but we don't have these shapes, do we? No. We've got these bulbous ones. Which are okay, but they dribble a bit. They do dribble, and then uh, got this shape as well. But now we've got these big mugs. I think those are nice. I think those will supersede the Yeah, we'll probably the use these ones more. These yeah. are 3 50 each, but I mean, how much is Denby normally? Oh, it's about... Ten pounds a £10 a mug, so that's mug. all right, £3.50. Mm, okay. yeah. Well, I thought they're coming home with me anyway because they're the right colour and they're ones we don't have. So, there you go. We can Two retire nice mugs. some of the others. Retire, would we retire? Does that mean smash them up with a... No, oh, okay. no, they may go on either. Oh, yeah, yeah, cool, yeah. Um, and then these are by American Eagle. They say size eight on them, but it's, that's an American brand. So they're not size eight, they're a size, I think it says six and a half, uh, UK six and a half. These are some rather nice brogue boots. So a bit steampunk, especially with the ribbons. Um, also good for uh, like Victoriana or um, Land Girl. Um, what else is the keyword? Goodwood, that kind of thing. So they're quite nice don't really look like they've been used they were i think i paid 5.99 or 6.99 something like that and then we've got some clark's artisan some like round toed mary jane ones again these ones have never been used just look like they've been in storage these were 5.99 a uk7 which would just about fit me but i won't keep them i'll sell them um, but again, land girl, good wood, that's the keywords for that. So I should do okay on those. I got a couple of um, cross stitch kitches, cross stitch kitchen, kit, I can't say it, cross stitch kits, kitses I want to say for some reason. This lovely one with the geisha on it, 
it's just a mini one but I thought that was quite nice I think these were $1.99 each something like that and then the flower fairies the chicory fairy that's quite cute so both are used DMC I think is a pretty good brand so that's cool huh what are you doing up there oh cat get down cat Tilda you twat face Tilda down down she's on the shelves no she's a bugger I got I only got three bits of jewelry today and um, this which is like Venetian end of day glass style but then the clasp says England on it so hmm maybe it's been restrung with a clasp but anyway they're nice beads nice glass beads that was £1.49 and then these were £1.49 each they had a pair of these very similar in the window to a jewellery shop um, in my stake she's playing with a pom pom now in Netta um, and they were selling them for £25 I'm not sure if they're silver I'll give them a test and then these ones they may or may not be gold and the reason I think they're gold is because they're so lightweight now if you're making them out of just normal metal you're not going to bother making them so lightweight are you um, I think I maybe see marks on them I'm not sure it could just be dirt but again I'll have a look with a loop in a bit and give them a test for £1.49 it was worth the risk and then um, uh, well, okay for myself and then maybe to resell on afterwards because I probably won't use it I only bought it because it's one of my favorite directors Wes Anderson um, there's a there's a thing that's like guess which is Wes Anderson and which is North Korea um, because it, he has a very particular aesthetic of like um, almost a bit Kubrick-esque as well with the bathrooms and stuff things being like pastel colors that it is it's like slightly unnerving I'll see if I can find an example um, but yeah it did films like uh, Moonrise Kingdom which um, is a really cool film um, oh, that's the that's Moonrise Kingdom that's cool is it that one yeah it is that one um, yeah Fantastic Mr. Fox, which I actually haven't seen yet. Um, Grand Budapest Hotel, I think that's this one. I'm trying to find you like a classic example. Oh, Darjeeling Limited. Um, the Life Aquatic. Anyway, look up Wes Anderson and like North Korea because it's it's quite spooky sometimes yeah oh come on there has to be like this framing is very unusual as well very similar it's like he likes to frame things sort of in a very similar way and you can tell where's um you can tell like um a trailer came up before the film actually today and i was like god that looks where's anderson and lo and behold it was uh, Wes Anderson film. Oh, the Royal Te well, Tenenbaums as well. Um, yeah. So that I bought for myself. That was a fiver. On eBay it goes for between 10 and 15. So I might pass it on afterwards. But that's pretty cool. For a fiver I got this framed, signed, numbered print. Um, it's by G.W. Burks. Have you heard of him? Reminds me a little bit of Lowry, but not quite. But it's quite a nice like fun fair sort of scene so something that someone might like in their bathroom maybe um, but I paid a fiver for that and comps look like between 35 and 50 maybe um, so I think that was quite a nice find and I think this is quite a nice picture as well and professionally like framed and stuff so I thought that was a cool find nice to get what are you doing in the bag cat um, and then I got some more breakables, which is great. What do I start with? So I did end up buying the Art Deco uranium glass. So I've got two of these, two candlestick holders. That, that one does have like, it's a chip that hasn't chipped properly. It's like a shatter in the glass, but obviously if you just turn it around the other way, it's fine. 
so that will kind of you know diminish the price a little bit and i think one of these yeah that one just has like a chip on the interior of the trinket box but yes they do glow under uv light which is pretty cool so i paid three pound fifty for each of them so 14 pound for the whole lot but i would expect like 14 pound for ish a bit more for one of the trinket dishes especially because they are quite art deco with the fan and the geometric so they're quite nice i do quite like them for 50p i bought this mug um because it's got marmalade cats on it What's it called? Lazy Cat. It's a nice marmalade cat in a hammock and up a tree. That is Beth for Witted of Chelsea. Um, it also has what looks like a dead young wood louse in it. So free dead wood louse. Oh, really? Free wood louse? Free. 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 Mmm, lovely. Free. Um, and there is a slight just surface hairline crack. But these go for between 12 and 15 pounds by the looks of it. And because it's a marmalade cat, you have a very particular audience as well. Someone might just want that on their desk. So maybe the hairline crack. I'll give it a test. It doesn't look like maybe it has gone all the way through. Uh, oh, well, it was 50p anyway. And then my find of the day, even though they don't get absolutely loads, but I kind of love them because it's these mugs. So that's ceramic and that's acrylic, but they're by Gazzini and Gazzini made my uh, lampshade. Um, so these were one pound each, but a set of six went for 48 pounds. So I've got three of them. Um, so I might just do a multi-listing like, so people can choose how many they want. Although this one is slightly more marked. So maybe I'll just do a two and a one perhaps but um i think gazzini italian probably italian isn't it i think these are sold at john lewis though by the looks of it or at least they're similar ones sold at john lewis but i just really like that handle i think that's super cute very mid-century really like that very simple but the the handle makes it so that was kind of my favorite pickup of the day and obviously the wes anderson oh and i also got um a book for a friend of mine he likes his world war ii stuff and i just thought like the, that actually sounded quite interesting. It's only 50p, so you know, if you don't like it, you can just re-donate it. But um, yeah. From Nazi ghost trains in Tokyo, Tokyo Rose to the, and Tokyo Rose to the day. I don't know what that means. Uh, oh, and Tokyo Rose to the day Los Angeles was attacked by phantom fighters. There really should be some punctuation in there. That would help. Um, but yeah, unsolved mysteries, there we go. So, yeah, that's my haul. I hope you've enjoyed today. I'm going to cook some dinner now, but you don't really need to see that. It's going to be something with broccoli yeah, and green beans, most likely, probably. So yeah, and oh, and cauliflower. Not with cauliflower. You don't do cauliflower unless you're doing cauliflower rice. There's certain textures that just don't work together. Yeah. Besides, I'll need the mushrooms for my omelette. Mum's having salmon. I don't fancy salmon. Although that does look quite nice. It is. Are you eating both? No, I can leave you one. Yeah, I'll have a slice of salmon. Yeah, yeah why not? That's cool, it's thank you. It's marinated. What in? Um, I don't know. Stuff. Marinated and stuff. It's like it's marinated in sort of chili. Chili. Oh, good. That's okay then. Right, yeah. I shall see you next time. Hope you've enjoyed. Bye bye now. Bye bye. Wait, before you go, one last thing. These earrings, not silver, I'm afraid. Still pretty, but not silver. However, these are indeed nine carat gold. They're super lightweight. There's not even, I'd say half a gram there. So scrap value, not that much, but still I found gold. Yay. Bye-bye.